Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I have this really disturbing case and it's coming from Connecticut. It's about an 18 year old girl. Her name is Nikki Yovino. And basically she accused two guys last year, they were football players. She accused them of raping her in the bathroom. And basically both of these guys were kicked out of school. They lost their football scholarships. But now it's being announced that new evidence has come out and that this bitch, Nikki, lied about her being raped and that the sex that she had with both of these football players was consensual, okay? So what they're saying happened is that basically, Nikki said that she wanted to have sex with both these football players. She willingly went into the bathroom with both of these guys, and some people were like standing outside the bathroom so they kinda knew what was going on. She went in there, she had sex with both of them. I think what happened is that rumors started spreading around the school that Nikki was a damn hoe and that, you know what I'm saying, if you whisper sweet nothings in her fucking ear, you can run a fucking train on her and she got embarrassed. So what happened is that basically there was another guy that Nikki was feeling and she really wanted that guy to like her, not look at her like she was a hoe. So then she proceeded to concoct a story and say that these two football players raped her so that way she could have sympathy from the guy that she was feeling. So he would feel bad for her and then start dating her. Meanwhile, these two guys who did absolutely nothing wrong to Nikki, they were thrown under the bus. This whole situation is just really disturbing. Go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. And two men of rape, and at least one of them is a college football player from Connecticut. Good evening to you at 6 o'clock. I'm Liz Chef. And I'm Bill Ritter, a 20-year-old student claiming she had been raped after a party involving the Sacred Heart University football team. But tonight, Nikki Avino is charged with making it all up and then fabricating the evidence. I'm going to choose Marcus Solis, live in Fairfield tonight with our lead story. Marcus. And Bill and Liz, this was an investigation that went on for months, and police say it was leading up to the two men being charged until someone came forward with new evidence that suggests this incident was consensual in nature. And now police have charged 20-year-old Nikki Yovino of making up that rape claim. Yovino initially told police last October that two men took her into a bathroom at a party at an off-campus apartment in Bridgeport and took turns sexually assaulting her. One male student was a football player at Sacred Heart, the other a former student. Police say initially, evidence seemed to corroborate Yovino's story. Witnesses who were interviewed backed up her claim. But as that investigation stretched on for months, another student came forward and provided new information that punched holes in her story, specifically sexually explicit messages on social media between the alleged victim and her supposed attackers. Part of the incident was also recorded on one of the men's cell phones. Detectives traveled to Long Island to re-interview Yovino, who had moved back home, and police say she admitted making the story up. Police say given the resources used in this investigation, they had no choice but to charge her. Certainly, if you're a victim of sexual assault, we want to hear from you. We will do a thorough investigation, uh, but please just tell us the truth. And, you know, had she done that early on, then I don't think she would have been, uh, been charged. Well, citing privacy law, Sacred Heart University would only say it never expelled the two students, would not comment if that player lost his scholarship, stating, we go to great lengths to ensure due process for all parties involved. The way that this particular case is playing out certainly demonstrates the validity of our procedures. Yovino is charged with falsely reporting an incident and tampering with evidence. She's been released on bond. And we're live in Fairfield. Marcus Solis, Channel 7. Eyewitness News. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. You know, and one of the things I want to say is this. A lot of guys, especially in college, y'all need to be careful with all this wild sex, group sex. This is the same shit that happened to Nate. Um, this is the same thing that happened to Nate Parker. You know, just all this wild sex because it's fun in that moment. And that girl might act like she's down to do it in that moment. But then once, you know, a lot of guys in college and high school, they can't hold fucking water. They tell everybody's business. They don't know how to keep shit to themselves. So guys will go out and brag about shit. And then the girl will later on feel embarrassed or, you know, mad that everybody knows her business. And at that point in time, she may just end up lying on you like this girl Nikki did. You know, I feel like as young people, you need to have more respect for your bodies. I don't care if you're male or female. People need to learn to have more respect for their bodies. Just because somebody's throwing some ass at you and saying, come and get it, don't mean that you got to run towards it head first. And I mean that shit literally, okay? You know, this whole situation is just disgusting to me. You know, Nikki's ass needs to go to jail, point blank, period. Because let's keep it real. Had these boys been prosecuted because they were looking at going to trial, had they lost that trial and had they been prosecuted, they would have been given anywhere from five to 20 years for raping this girl, okay? 
I think she should serve the same amount of time that those young boys would have got because she saw nothing wrong with lying on these guys. She not only watched them get kicked out of school, she watched them lose their scholarship and she also watched them get arrested, okay? So she had no problem seeing all this unfold. I have no sympathy for her at all. I think her ass should be behind bars. She's a pathological liar. She's a spoiled brat and she's a fucking hood rat, okay? I know people will try and clean it up because she's a pretty little white girl, but to me, she's a hood rat. Any girl who will go into a bathroom to go have sex with two guys at one time, you're a hood rat. If that was a black chick, she'd be a hood rat. So to me, she's a hood rat. That's nasty. You know what I'm saying? These dudes couldn't even get you a room. You're screwing them in a bathroom with people outside the bathroom listening. You're a jump off. She got embarrassed because other kids around school found out that she was a jump off and she didn't want to look like a jump off to the boy that she was feeling. Let me give you a tip, Nikki, because obviously your mother didn't teach you shit. If you don't want to look like a jump off, you don't want to come off like a hood rat to your love interest, maybe you should not involve yourself in hood rat things, okay? In my damn Latarian Milton voice. But I wanted to do hood rat stuff with my friends. I like to do hood rat things with my friends. Maybe you shouldn't do hood rat things with your friends because why? Those type of things can give you a reputation and it can make guys want to stay away from you and be standoffish, hence why your love interest wasn't really feeling you like that and hence why you made up this entire fucking rumor. You know, so this whole situation is just sad, but like I say, young men have respect for your bodies and don't be so quick to engage with sex with any and everyone, especially group sex because you never know how a female might twist that around and turn that into a rape situation. I've talked about this numerous times on video, and I think with a lot of guys, like I've said before, I think for a lot of guys, you should try and get consent either on audio or on video before you have sex with a female. Yes, it may be inconvenient. Yes, it may be awkward, but that tape may save your life. Because if you guys remember that Uber driver um, in Maryland, I did a story about that a year and a half ago. He was going to prison for the next 15 years because a woman accused him of rape. The woman was filling him. You know, they were kind of messing around and he decided he didn't want to be with her. You know, he had a wife and he wanted to be with his wife. He was not going to leave his wife for her. So she lied and said that the Uber driver raped her. He happened to tape some of their sessions with them having sex in the car. And that's the only thing that got him off is because he had video evidence of her willingly having sex with him. You know, so it's getting to the point where a lot of these females are just really, really scandalous. And a lot of these guys need to be careful with who they sleep with and need to be mindful. You know, so this whole situation is just really sad. They said that one of the football players, he's back at the college, but he's not, you know, they're on a scholarship. His scholarship is still reneged. So the whole situation is crazy. It's going to be really interesting to see how this plays out. And I'm going to be really curious to see if she ends up doing any time behind her false allegations. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning this fucking jump off hood rat lying on these two guys and getting them not only kicked out of school, losing their scholarship, but getting them arrested and getting ready to face criminal charges for a rape that they did not commit. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.